Good evening. No, you are not going crazy, and I did not forget the music. I am intentionally not playing music tonight, and I just hit my keyboard. Let me tuck that away. I could lose my temper really easy. I'm not going to do it on stream, obviously. I got muted Tuesday morning. And I'm just done with that. I am just over that. It's only like three minutes of a two-hour stream. I really shouldn't mind. I understand that. And so this is a test today. Bear with me. All I'm doing is running this stream today. I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to watch it. And then I will probably decide to go back to the music. We'll see. I want to see what it's like to not have the music do they have the ambient sounds, like my spinning wheel? Obviously, I'm still going to be talking. Hi, Kay. How are you, my faithful friend? So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to do this stream without music tonight. Um, that means you can mute me and turn on your own music if you want. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to see how it goes. But I am really, really tired of being muted by Twitch or whoever is doing it. I, I assume it's Twitch that's doing it. So, I, because their appeal thing just doesn't work at all. It just, it doesn't work. And Pretzel, of course, is the source of music everybody is supposed to be using. I'm sure there's other people's music. What I think I might try, there is some Yum YouTube music available that supposedly is good for Putting in the background of YouTube, therefore, you know, ha the rights are okay to use. Um, I may try that over the next few streams, but I didn't have it all set up. As usual, I was running in here at the last minute and getting everything, you know, ready to go. And I checked last stream, the Tuesday, and saw that it got muted, and I was like, so I'm dealing with this right now. Copyright free music. Okay. I will search that too. Thank you, Lazy Me. I will cho I will try that. <gasps> Kay got her 6.0. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. Saturday. Oh, but then it was there. <laughs> That's even better. Isn't that neat when that happens? It's like, oh, <laughs> it's, it's just like twice as exciting, right? When they say it's not going to come on, then it comes. That's wonderful. Oh, are you playing with it tonight? That's great. Uh, copy free music. Let me write that down. I know of, you know, some others that I have found, but I don't know sources. I mean, I don't, I know YouTube, right? I know Pretzel. Um, I used to pay for Pretzel. I stopped, fortunately, I stopped the payment. I actually still have some free time with them that, you know, I paid for a whole year. So I'm a, um, still, I probably ought to go ahead and do it. But anyway, <laughs> you got me and Fish Stalker up. <laughs> you have Spotify and there's several playlists that are pretty good to use. And, I, and how do you know that they're uh, copyright free? On, uh, on, I don't have Spotify, Spotify, I'm sorry, Spotify. I apologize. I don't have that. I am not accustomed to using it. My daughter has it on her phone, has used it for years, but I was under the impression she paid for it. Um, you know, a certain subscription fee. Okay, the playlist names have the, the title. All right, I'm, well, I'm gonna, let me, let me write some of this down here. Uh, copyright free music search. And, Spotify. So can you make a playlist on Spotify? Six ninety nine. What? A month or a? Year? It's got to be a month, right? Um. I don't know. I just sort of uh, wonder. Uh. If other streamers have used it, they would be the one to know if they're getting muted 
you know, getting the uh, thing saying, no, that's not uh, got the rights, you know, copyright free. Okay, so Spotify is uh, got some. You guys, that's it. That's it. There, there we go. Cause I remember that too from my daughter. Yeah, nine ninety nine a month. Okay. Well, you know, it's not like I can't get rid of something else. That's certainly a thing, and you can make playlists and all that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, right now we are just going to chat and listen to my spinning wheel. <laughs> and then I'll work this out uh, and see what we want to do. But I do want to go through one stream. I want to listen to it. I want to kind of check out how much music really is part of it. I, I podcasted it for years and years and years with no music, right? So... And, and I podcasted with music, too, but then there was a big brouhaha, and I had to stop, um, that everybody had to stop, because the music alley, podcast alley, all of that went away, and we didn't have the music. But anyway, I got used to not having music on the podcast, so I could get used to it here. <laughs> You're totally down for spinning wheel. See, that... Br spinning oh my theme song that i used for so many years and that is the same spinning see that spinning wheel oh goodness i won't sing anymore <laughs> so lazy me good to see you kate welcome everybody here's my so first of all we're going to apply i have three small bobbins because the nano is a small spinning wheel and they make small small bobbins these this is alpaca these two look very similar on the camera but believe me this one is darker right this is like a three-tone um, light medium dark three ply of alpaca sing these are singles and I'm gonna put these three together I'm going to do not the traditional um, make a three ply out of a single by uh, doing the uh, cabling. We're, I'm just going to take a strand from each of these and let them run together. So it'll be um, kind of interesting, a little bit interesting texture. It's not that nice roundness that you get with a three ply when you do a tra more traditional way of three plying, but it's quicker and easier and I have such a small amount I thought it'd be fun so I will set that down on the ground and I do have my bigger bobbin Roberta out for this first of all it loves plying it don't mind going the opposite direction in one least little bit. So, I use this a lot for plying. In fact, it's still set to ply. Now, I don't know how much pulling this is going to have. And, speaking of spinning wheel, uh, ASMR, unfortunately, this one is not the nice creaky treadly one right that, that I hand treadle. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have that planned for tonight. <laughs> Things don't go like planned at all. All right. Okay. Catch you in a minute. I'm not real sure how fast I want to go. Unfortunately, the two colors really are not different enough. There should have been a gray. I should have had gray and tan and brown. Of course, that totally could happen. I still have that upstairs. This is just going to look barber pulled. Oh well, that's the way it goes. 
This art is so soft. I definitely want to make a cow or something. I don't know if I'll have enough. I might have to combine it with what I'm going to spin after I get this done. Because this won't take very long to do. And then I'll have enough. Actually, that'll look really good. <laughs> Combining this, what I'm going to spin next. Got a cough. <coughs> Excuse me. So no music to hide my slurping of my drink. No alcohol tonight. Sometimes on these night ones I do. But we did our drinking last night. Um, Hubby and I went out to eat, although it, it kind of hurt my feelings. Because, you know, he always says, well, you pick where you, know, where you want to go. And I was in the mood to go to a brewery that's nearby. And... They're, they got good beer, but their their food selection is somewhat limited, and we ended up getting pizza. They they do make a pretty good pizza, <laughs> and, and pizza and beer. I mean, you know, that's just kind of a given. Well, at one point, I said something like, "Well, this is nice to get out." And he's like, "I don't consider going for pizza and beer getting out." <laughs> it's like, "Oh, okay, excuse me." <laughs> well, I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure that out. We are, we both have cabin fever so bad. We just came back from vacation. But I, I, my uh, comment on Discord for uh, this stream was since it's March 31st, right? Goodbye, fickled weather March. It was, we broke records yesterday. It was 84 degrees. It is currently 44 degrees on my thermometer on my computer. I mean, it did not get above 50 today. And that just, I don't know, it makes my body hurt. It makes my body hurt to have that bounce like that back and forth. It just drives me crazy. It is snowing? Okay. <laughs> well... I'll quit whining. I don't have snow. <laughs> Although, I have a um, flowering tree uh, right outside the side of the house, so I can see it from the side windows of the house. And it's just full of white blossoms. I mean, it was, and it was, it looked so pretty yesterday with the warm weather. It felt so spring like and everything. And I looked out there today, and it's all gray and gloomy. And I thought, it looks like it has snow on it. I mean, it looks like snow on it instead of wonderful spring flowers. <laughs> no snow. No snow predicted, but... It just won't let go. That's why I want March to go away, because it did come in really mild, and it's going out with a temper, so... I want it to be over. Just be gone. It was supposed to be gone by now, but it's kept going. But it's supposed to be warm again in the next couple of days. Yeah, right. We are not going to warm up, actually. We are sitting where we got the a lot of the warm front that went through at midnight this morning. You know, it was... 77 degrees or something like that at midnight this morning. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I like Florida weather sometimes. Except it doesn't get this cold. Anyway. I went... Before we went out to eat, went and stayed with my grand, my grandson who was home from school and sick, and there was sort of a gap in their care, right? Their their parental 
some kind of an adult being nearby uh, with him while he was home. So I went, hubby and I went and, and filled the gap in there yesterday. And he was, he was fine. He was on the better end of feeling bad. But um, he also was pretty much towards the end of the day when, you know, he'd been this way all day and everything and not doing much. And he said, you know, he said, I don't like being sick, but I really don't like going see my friends. <laughs> That's cool. I think he was like, okay, this isn't all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Stay home all day, right? So we did that, and then we went out to eat. Ooh, this is really interesting. It's kind of like, hmm, what does that remind me of? I need to get this in there a little better. I mean, barber pole, obviously, yes. But it has sort of a twee, not twee, I don't know herringbone look kind of has a herringbone look because the uh, the the single is slanted enough that it kind of makes the the striping look diagonal it won't knit up that way but. so I s totally have dropped knitting not doing any any of the sock madness I like the sock that has a little pocket on it. I'd love to make it sometime, but I am not in the mood to mess with learning double knitting. I think I've done it before, but I sure don't remember. You know, and that's okay because I still have the second sock of round one to finish, which is what I really need to be working on anyway. I just haven't felt like. It felt like knitting, and I, I told hubby yesterday, I'm even getting tired of spinning, and that's serious. That's that's serious, and I, that just means it's time to get outside. So that's just winter. Time to get out, work outside. Maybe I could start some seeds. That might. If it got nicer out, I can go out and get the garden beds ready. There's always that to do. I almost went out and picked a whole bunch of forsythia and some of the white blooming bushes. Some of the bushes, the bushes are all blooming down my lane. So I'd have a nice backdrop behind me. But I didn't do it. Oh, I'll tell you why I didn't do it. You ever have a doctor or dentist's office call you and say, Hey, you got an appointment on April 4th. Would you like to come in today and do it instead? With like two hour notice? I have to admit my doctor's never done that, but Dennis did it to me today. And of course I could have said no, but you know, I went ahead and did it. It's a crappy day. I wasn't doing anything. So I have one more dentist vi visit um, April 20th to get a uh, crown put on and then I should be done for a while, a year more anyway. So yeah, that's why I didn't do anything today. Fortunately, the Novocaine didn't bother me too much. It was so far back that it didn't affect my lips that much, or tongue like it does sometimes. And the second thing is I'm doing taxes. So yeah, we put it off. I, it, there's no we about it. I put it off. My hubby can't do it. He, he can't really see well enough to do it. But um, 
I use uh, H&R Block software, and it's usually... I, I worked for H&R Block years ago for a couple of years and use their software. I mean, it, it's very helpful. Their, their software that they use in the facility is way better than what you can buy for the home version, but the home version is good, and I trust it, right? Used it for years. So, I've been using that. And getting our taxes done. <laughs> that never happened to you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Monday you go for a clean, then we schedule the next round of dental visions. Pretty sure root canal is in your future. Oh, bless your heart. I, yeah, you know, if you remember, I just had one last month. And the procedure didn't hurt, except it seemed to take forever. She seemed like she was so slow, but I, I think that's a good thing. I think slow and cautious is good. Um... But it, it hurt. It never hurt. That tooth never hurt before. But the, it hurt after the root canal for about a week. Not excruciating. Not terrible. But take Tylenol kind of thing. Yeah, they... You know, I want to save my teeth. I want to do that. So I try and take care of them. You dentist you have now is really good, so you're not draining as much as you did with the last dentist. Oh, that's so important. I have had... The, the dentist is probably, that I go to is probably about... Uh, I bet you he's 60. I bet he's just hit his 60s. You know, so... He's talking retirement. He is... He keeps pumping me about when I go to Florida, you know, what would you do? What's it like? What's it like? And all that <clears throat> being retired. But uh, I think he's really starting to look forward to retiring. Would rather be doing other things, yeah. Well, you know, I'm... The thing that, that gets me is it just, it's almost a guarantee if I go into the dentist for a cleaning that there'll be dental work that has to be done. I didn't end up with very good enamel. Okay, my bombs are not going to come out even. i got to decide what I'm going to do about that. Not real sure. The lightest color I could add what I have left to spin to that. So I think I'll just end up making one or two bobbins of in a small amount of yarn and all of these little skeins will end up going together in a project. Oh, well you know what? See, I weighed these bobbins with the fiber on there, and I knew that the dark and the middle were pretty close in grams weight of fiber. And they are. They're just about coming out even here. All right, that's the end of the brown. So let's just cut everything. Well, that took 25 minutes or less. Less, really. That took about 15 minutes. It's probably not that much yardage here. All right. I 
This is what I got left here. Got one empty bobbin. Which I needed. That's why I did this first. Because if I spend more on my nano, I need it. Figure out what to do with these two bobbins. Okay. So while I have this here, before I switch over to the Nano, I am going to complete a second bobbin. Oh no, I did that on Nano. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to spin on the Nano next. Okay, I got it figured out what I want to do. I will say, I miss spinning acres and acres and acres of fiber on the Aura with its big bobbins. You know, this is fiddly. plug this nano in. I haven't used my battery. I need to probably charge it. I have not. I've got it packed away. I mean, while I'm here at home and everything, it's no reason not to just plug it in. But it's probably not good not to use the battery now and then. Oh, I need this. Keep it from... Sliding. There goes my bobbins running away. Yeah. Yeah. I'll stick a piece of tape under this. The uh, this is a mouse mat. I use the rough side, which should be down, so it doesn't slide. So the slippery side is down, and that means. The mat's going to slide around. Is that centered? Yeah. Except I am going to use a different bobbin. This is, I'm going to use the same fiber, but make a second bobbin. So I do, oh, I usually undo that, and I did not. It's been hooked up. That shows you how tired I was Tuesday morning. There's dust on here from the alpaca. It's down in here. I, I noticed that Tuesday and I didn't bring a paper towel. As I have said many times, it doesn't matter how often or how much I clean alpaca. I end up with dust somewhere. After I get through all this alpaca, I am going to spin silk on this nano. I did once already since I bought it. It was nice.
Okay. So are you, K? are you spinning on your, are you uh, playing with your 6.0? That's so exciting. So funny, this doesn't look like the same, well yeah it does. I always, I always think of it as darker than it is. Kind of reminds me of collie fur. <laughs> Looks like dog fur. <laughs> little bit in this paper bag down here and I hope the nano feels like cooperating tonight. I have a blanket wrapped around my legs. I am so cold tonight. I have a heavy sweater on with a shirt underneath but fortunately there's no wind blowing where <clears throat> you know we get drafts. We had a huge amount of wind yesterday and last night. Fortunately, nothing came down. We did not have any tree limbs break or anything. That's good. There we go. Now we got a nice spinning wheel sound. That has a nice rattle to it. Pretty soon I'll apply the purple, green, blue I've been working on. I'm at two of and a half out of four. Oh, okay. Okay. You're serious. You're going to use it for plying. <laughs> So what kind of April Fool's jokes should I expect from my 10-year-old grandson? Because I'm going to be with him tomorrow evening also. <laughs> oh, goodness.
that's never been a big big thing in my family and I only say that in the sense that I would assume my daughter has pretty much carried that on with her into her adult life but um, yeah I just I'm really have never been one to really have anything to do with April Fool's jokes You're never big on April Fools either. Yeah. This is going well. Except I'm not comfortable on my cushion. I am going to have to see if I can fix that. It slid way back and it's not under me. Hold on a minute here. There we go. Much better. been trying to think of something good to put in the crock pot tomorrow. Uh, although, I don't really have any... Oh, I know what I can make. I have, I have already cooked pork. I can chop that up and make a good barbecue sandwich. That'll be good. cooked the last couple days. I, I didn't cook tonight. We're eating leftover. And uh, last night we went out. I want to make sure to cook tomorrow. Yeah, that'll be good.
I remember back in the day of internet uh, groups. They probably exist somewhere still on the internet, where the big topic of discussion is, you know, what are you cooking for supper tonight? It was an endless source of ideas, and I enjoyed it immensely. Um, <laughs> but I have a very non-experimenting husband as far as food, so that kind of took the joy out of that, and I, I let it go. I mean, I just haven't pursued that anymore. <clears throat> I am an experimenter with food. I am, I just I'm like to eat, and I, I like to try new things. You're doing a clean out the freezer dinner. Yes, that's. I know exactly what you're talking about. Except there's two kinds. You know, there's where you have food that you combine and make a soup, or you have individual meals that um, hubby is eating this and I am eating this, and <laughs> right, you just have you know, smidges of food, one meal worth. I made gingerbread cookies yesterday, turned out awesome. But they were from a mix. Um, I bought the mix at either Big Lots or Dollar General. I don't remember which. You know, it was two bucks for the box. Oh, it was Big Lots. I'm, I can I remember now. It was Big Lots. And it was two bucks for a uh, you know, all the same kind of company of mixes that I can't pronounce. It starts with a K. But anyway. They had a coffee cake, they had brownies, and uh, gingerbread cookies. And when I went and checked my receipt after I chopped and got back out in the car, I noticed that the gingerbread cookies rang up zero. They they literally put zero after the gingerbread cookie mix. <laughs> I have, I mean, it was supposed to be two bucks. It was two bucks in the box. I didn't take it back in. I took it. I kept it for free. That is, you know, totally their software error on their register programming. But anyway, <laughs> I made those. They were good. They turned out really good. I'm having a hard time not just, you know, gobbling them up, but I'm trying to be good and not eat more than one or two a day. They're just so good with a cup of coffee. And it's kind of funny because I've been uh, listening to a book called um, The Art of Defensive, The Magical Art of Defensive Baking. And I know this has been making the rounds on Discord um, in the book list. And that's the reason I'm listening to it. But it is, it's really good. And the uh, baker, the uh, teenage girl who is the baker, has the ability of taking gingerbread cookies and bringing them to life, right? And the uh, the way they describe that in the you know, it riding along on her shoulder and holding onto her ear, and I mean it just it just makes me laugh. It makes me smile. And I was thinking of that when I made the gingerbread because I did not take the time to make gingerbread man, right? I'm like, oh, that would be so cool. It really wouldn't. It scare the shit out of me. Excuse me. It would scare me to death if, I, <laughs> if a cookie stood up and started walking around. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Individual meal type tonight. There you go. <laughs> I know. I had a piece of pizza. I 
I thawed, uh, I made tor a tortellini soup and froze half of it before we went on our trip. So I thawed that. So that's going to be my next, my lunch the next couple days. I was just thinking I haven't had any homemade soup for a while, but that actually was a uh, prepackaged pre by my daughter Christmas gift where she put all the ingredients into a mason jar. And I had cooked that up. It's really good. Hey, this is it. Empty bag. That bag's starting to look like it has seen better days. Let's see. I'm going to move this over just a little. I never feel, I never fill these bobbins all the way to the end like I do on a treadle. Seems like. Oops, that's not fast enough. There we go. But I, I haven't been listening to that book during the day, you know, like sitting knitting or, or something like that. Um, I've been listening to it when I go to bed. And I, I have turned that thing back and started over somewhat same area three times now because I fall asleep. I, you know, it's, it is a library book. I've, I re-borrowed it to get another, uh, I think it's, I think it's 21 days. Anyway, <laughs> I need to listen to it when I'm going to stay awake. Talk about that and this automatically yawn. I got a. I have a good friend that lives in California. I I knew her from when I lived in California and worked with her during that time. She, we write letters. Um, we don't do the internet or phone or anything like that. We do the old-fashioned letter writing thing, and and we both love it. I mean, it's just that's what we like. She wrote me that where she's living, the gas is six fifty a gallon. I mean, we, we're we paying uh, pretty much, unless we have discount money, like from the grocery store, we get 10 cents for every $100, you know, we buy the gas at the grocery store, we get, we get that sometimes, 
but it's over four bucks a gallon but still that's two dollars and fifty cents more that's a lot of money and she lives way out she's got a small town near her she just doesn't go anywhere except her small town she's just not you know not going anywhere you talking about the book you've heard of it yeah my library had it I said that already I'm I was surprised I usually I can't find things that get recommended or whatever at the library I need to get a job at the library I, I have so many books I have plenty to read here audio and hard you know copy but I have this desire to go to the library just to be amongst books <laughs> I can't explain it it isn't the same as being amongst my books I don't know why I can't explain that but Okay. That was a quite big nest. I'm <clears throat> bending over and my headphones coming off. <laughs> I need to take a break anyway. Fibers of when it's uh, 
graphed it out. It's the same table, as color as the table. Putting myself asleep. That one is distinctly darker. I think that slipped in from a previous combing. So seems to have a little more nubs in there.
sitting here contemplating the lack of music and thinking about all of that. You know, the thing that upsets me about being muted is I, I have been archiving these streams on my YouTube channel. And people do watch it. I have view, views. You know, I can see that I have views. Uh, but I won't archive any that have a mute on them um, publicly. I have the choice when I archive it on YouTube whether to be make it pub public or private and I upload everything but mark oh say I, I you know like the last five streams I've been working on the same fiber on the aura you know it's not so much what I say is what I do that I'm interested in archiving so I you know I might make that one private that kind of thing but I make it private if it ends up being muted so you know that that's mostly why I'm upset um, about when muting happens I most certainly have watched things on YouTube that didn't have music you know behind it so it's not the end of it all I kind of miss it though while I'm sitting here spinning I have thought about I could run a, a movie in one of the screens and spin and, and you know watch the movie I, I know other streamers do that but I don't know how you can pick the movie and have not have issues with that maybe they don't care if they you know the stream is muted or not viewable later like I do well I got that going too fast <clears throat> anyway I was going somewhere with that about the music forget where I was going though Oh, I know what was making me think about I, I uh, am behind in doing the uploading itself that I was talking about. It takes time to do it, and I, I meant to do some this week, and I, I forgot. It's no, again, not that big a loss. It's just something I try to keep up with that seems like right now I can't keep up with things like I were, was doing really good for a while. I'm almost done with this fiber.
Alright. <laughs> Whiz. All right, I'm not going to apply this tonight. I will let this sit, marinate, whatever. That was a great sound. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Oh no. Don't go far. Don't go far. All right. So I have these two bobbins and I will apply those. Oh, maybe tomorrow. I don't think I'll do them on stream. I don't know. We'll see. But I have a little bit yet to do on. Uh, a little bit more alpaca left and I'm going to do that um, put it right on this one here and my thing is actually I'm going to put it on this one and to ply these together I have just these bits and bobs left you know little bits There we go. So I'm going to put this on this bobbin. I'll apply it with this bobbin when I apply the other. And that should. What oh, I got in here? Alpaca, right? Yeah. That goes with that. That should clean the alpaca out of my immediate spinning basket. Doesn't take care of all the alpaca by any means. I have so much yet. A lot of it needs washed though. Oh, I better put my dry band on here. And the end here is not well twisted at all. So, there we go. And untwisting as we speak, as I speak. It's just not... That's a first. That's got the little. Did I bend that? Orifice hook caught in the leader up here. Okay. All right. It's going to be hard to go back to spinning wool after this.
All right, let me fix this camera a little bit more. Fix this. Get some of my hand in there. There we go. You're done spinning until the shows we want to watch are over. The wheel is messing with the antenna again. That is so weird. The nanomotor. You'll switch over to your spindle, yeah. That is, I know you have mentioned that before. Of course, I don't spin this in the living room. I don't know how close it has to be. And it probably doesn't matter. We have dish. We use an antenna down at, at uh, in Florida, at the house in Florida. All right, my hair is in my eyes. I'm gonna. I am going to have to start wearing a hairband or something to hold it back. Barrettes or something. I don't know. All I am saying is I can't. It, I can't imagine that I have been spinning on the nano, you know, for the last week or so since we got back. And hubby hasn't fussed about. You know, I don't know what's going on with the TV. Something like that. He would have said something. So it's just because we're on a dish satellite. Uh, you're about 10, 15 feet away, and it's not every channel that happens with. Huh. I'll tell hubby about that. He'll be interested to hear about that. That's interesting. What kind of antenna? Is it, um, what we have, I mean, is it a tower? Is it like a big square that you put, like, in your window near the TV or whatever? Is it, um... Rabbit ears? You know what I'm asking. What kind of antenna? Not that I think that makes any difference. I don't really know. You ought to Google that.
Yeah, square wind in the window. That's exactly what we use in Florida. And I haven't taken this to Florida. I, um, I would be in the same room as the antenna. That's why I asked, because we have that in Florida. And of course, I've been thinking about taking this with me. I didn't this last time because I was knitting on the uh, Sock Madness sock. Okay. Yeah, you don't think about it until you're spinning and then all of a sudden you're and, and he's flipping channels, right? <laughs> I'll be flipping channels and that's the way it works in our house anyway. Boy, these are I'm gonna break this one in half. These are long poles off the Combs. I can do that when I use my big five time combs. Load it up with a lot of fiber. I'm not getting as smooth a yarn though. With this batch the top. It's still real fuzzy, just like the other.
because it's a little coarser too, which is why it's got more bumps and sh little shortcuts in it and stuff. One more, or two if I divide it in half.
Oops. Move aside. Okay, that didn't work at all. All right, let's try this again. Best you can tell without a longer Google search is it has to do with the frequency the motor gives off, yes. I I guess that I kind of forgot that motors give off frequency. Or we don't normally have motors in our house. Maybe that's um, I've never run into it with a Roberta and I used to spin with the Roberta all the time in the living room and at my mom's. Like I said, it doesn't matter at my house, but, uh, oh, it didn't matter at her house either because at that time she had cable. She was alive and she had cable. Huh. I don't know if the, Roberta, if the Roberta would do it too. It's possible. And you can try and see if your new one does it. You get to experiment. I just, I guess I always, I guess I just feel like that's kind of a big thing and you think that it would be discussed more like on Discord and stuff like that where I would have run into it. Unless, you know, not ever, not a whole lot of people watch TV without cable, dish, that kind of thing. You know, just on an antenna. You have to be in the right area to be able to do that. We can't do it at all here. It works reasonably well at mom's. Experimenting time for science. <laughs> Yes, you got the fun tools to try it.
<laughs> I like your attitude, Kay. All right. Can I smooth this out? This is all messy. There we go. Oops. Wrong way. Okay, that ends the spinning time tonight, I think. I'm going to just play sort the fiber. I want to see what's in my... I have many, many fiber baskets, but I have one right here that I kind of keep around just in case there's something more time or I want something else to do or whatever. So I want to see what's in there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at fiber. Let's see. I could weigh these. But I don't really want to because I already know there's just more on one than the other. I still haven't figured it. I should find something to add to this. <laughs> the never ending bobbin. Sort of like the starter uh, starter dish. Have you ever heard of starter dish? That's when you get the dishes all done and somebody brings one in from the living room and sits it on the nice clean counter. That's your seed dish. That's your starter dish. <laughs> Happens here all the time. Not in stitches. I know they are so tiny. They, they are. <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of like it for that reason, per, for the specific reason, but it's also very not functional when you have stuff to spin that has lots and lots of flavor, which is exactly what I have here. First of all, hmm, that's not going to work. I switch to the other camera. I love this basket. Isn't that cool? You're going to start calling it a starter dish like that. You like that? <laughs> yeah. You're spinning on your uh, 6.0? Good. Anyway. I don't remember where I got this basket. Uh, yes, I do. I got it for my daughter. I don't know the history of it beyond that. But she was like, here, you like baskets. I don't want this one. <laughs> it's like, sure. Anyway, what I have in it, I'll go back to, is two big balls of unknown dyed wool. Sounds like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you like baskets. <laughs> um, this is what I'm going to be spinning on the Ara next. It's uh, going to be very, very rustic. It is just full of where they threw this stuff in, what I call floor sweepings, you know, for texture, right? You can just see it there in there it's going to be that way so it needs to be spun real um loose open woolen and i love the color i i do i love the color and it's reasonably soft it's going to be next to skin soft for definitely hats and scarves and i don't know how much i'll get because i will lose quite a bit um let me weigh these i want to write that down anyway as i'm doing my planning here. Oops. Come on. Oh, you know what? I have this in grams. I want it in. We'll go back to ounces. There we go. Now I got to re-zero it. Okay. 
Yeah, this is a four ounce ball. That's what I thought, but I wanted to be sure. So I have eight ounces here. But like I said, I think I'll lose quite a bit as I'm spinning it. And that one's 3.9, it's not even quite. So that will be my, probably, after I get that plying done, it's going to be my next project. Um, let's see, green, that's, a, that's from uh, the mill that isn't a mill anymore, Wooly Knob. You've got a really full bob in on your 6.0. <laughs> yeah. And then I have... Oh, I, you know what? Maybe I ought to do this first, too, before I do the green. Or maybe... I'm really into the... applying the opposite colors together lately and making barber pole, but I am... I've been doing that and doing that and doing that. Okay. So, this is also from the same mill. It is not soft. It is um, a very light gray. I think it's probably Shetland, which can be soft, but this one is not. Or, um, I'm trying to remember what he raised. I know he had a Shetland ram. But, anyway, it's also unknown. What he, I mean, he has sheep. And he just kind of puts everything together. He dyes it. He does his own mill thing. And he'll do one or two fiber fairs, a booth at one or two fiber fairs near me. Right. And so I usually pick something up. So this is four ounces. And I've already done some on the Ara. That's a single. It's going to be fat. The bobbin and the fiber is 9.8. So that, that would have been... That's interesting. I have the fact that the bobbin is over is seven ounces. That sure doesn't seem right. Do I have more of this somewhere? I don't think so. I'll have to look and see. Hmm. I'll have to watch as I'm spinning this um, and see if I can keep the bobbin sort of even. Anyway, yeah, I better finish this first. So I'll, I'll be doing that on Sunday afternoon. Back to the regular treadle spinning wheel. So that's that is two big R projects. So that's pretty much the next couple weeks. And then I have these to do after I get my nano uh, bobbins all clear. I have these two left to do. Split them in half, do them on one on each bobbin. This one is camel. And this one is oh, that's soft. Cashmere. So these I may have to reprocess. Uh, put them on the hand cards and make a roll log because it is just like super fine and mixed up and it's not at all it's just cleaned and put in there in little tiny bits it would not comb it's too short to comb so I'll just make um, roll logs off of a hand card so I have those two that I need to do on the nano and after I get that done then I'll go dig some silk out and uh, these I just do as I got it all together in a sampler of a whole bunch of exotic fibers and I've just made the little mini skeins I uh, expect that I'll put those mini skeins together in something so there is always fiber to spin isn't there at least there is in my house <laughs> let's see gray four ounce ball and the bottom and the single I said was 
2.7 ounces. That one I don't know about. Alright, I'm going to call it a night. A little early. Sorry about that. But that's okay. I'm glad to see you all. Knots and Stitches, welcome and sorry to leave so soon. Okay, it's been great talking to you. Appreciate it. <laughs> and Lazy Me, thanks for hanging out while you were working. I appreciate it. I'll be back Sunday afternoon and that'll be around 3 Eastern Standard Time. So, until later. Take care. Happy spinning. I'm not going to raid anybody tonight. I don't want to stick around. I'm going to go hit the sack. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. <laughs>